Hello, Salam alaikum. Hey, konnichiwa. Do, by the way, do you know Japanese? Japanese language. Like, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa means hello. So, konnichiwa, watashi wa uh, naoki desu. Watashi wa, hi. Naoki desu, naoki. So, I'm naoki. So, I'm from Japan. Uh, I'm originally, based, uh, originally from Japan. Uh, currently, I'm based in Istanbul. Uh, and working as a lecturer. Uh, so, to today, um, uh, I would like to share, you know, my, how can I say, the uh, new project. It's called like drawing the uh, Muslim, uh, like manga or in fictional story, uh, which is based on the uh, Islamic culture. And by the way, this is coming off the topic, but. <laughs> Do you know Japanese swordmanship? Yeah. It's called Kenjutsu. Yeah. Uh, actually, I'm studying Japanese Kenjutsu, swordmanship. And I have a master in Japan. And he has some like Muslim students and he wants to teach this swordmanship uh, to the Muslim children, Muslim children you know, outside of Japan. And if there is any like demand in like Manchester, uh, I want to organize some like this swordmanship like workshop uh, for everyone. Uh, so if you are interested, I don't know, you know, ask your parents and if you can contact me. And we can arrange some fun. It's really fun. Have you ever seen Kenjutsu yeah. before? So this is like your job. Sorry, this is off the top. <laughs> this is how you guard. This is attack. Like guard, attack, guard, attack. And this is how you guard. Evade. And attack. This. It's really fun. <laughs> no, I, I can guarantee it's really fun. And it's good for exercise. And Anyway, why, so for example, like, the, the reason why I'm, I'm practicing this new swordmanship and the reason why I know this swordmanship is not because I'm just like doing Japanese. Um, do you know Ruroni Kenshin? Yeah. Demon Slayer. No, like yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah. So, they, even me Japanese, like, I'm not, I'm not from a really like, conservative family. Um, the, uh, my family is more into like, American culture so, and yeah, the Hollywood movie. But I have learned traditional Japanese culture uh, through uh, watching like a Japanese anime or the manga. It means like when I watch like Ruroni Kenshin, it's from like a uh, story, you know, or when I watch like Demon Slayer, you know, Tanjiro yeah. or the other characters, you know, when they're using this Japanese swordmanship, and I thought, wow, that's so cool. And I started thinking, that I want to practice the swordmanship too. So that's why I fell in my master and I started, you know, uh, practicing. This is a Japanese culture. So actually this is a good lesson for us. I mean that you know, we need to create uh, opportunity as much as possible for the audiences to get to know our, our culture. It is the same for the Islamic culture the same. Okay. It means like, because I mean my, you know, our parents you know, uh, you know, trying to send like a Sunday, like a masjid class for every week, and we study like a hadith and a Quran, and we study Aqid and a Fekir. And this is also the way and we, I also study a lot from you know the masjid uh, like a class, but uh, sometimes just like studying, uh, it's not how can I say it's not fun. Something we you know, we get tired, and something we, and something, you know, we, we cannot find like good teachers. Like you know, we some people study hate you know, to study like Islamic studies. But uh, what well, imagine that like, if we like, if if we had like a Jap like Muslim like anime, you know like a Muslim character who is studying like a Hanafi figure or studying like in the Maturidi like Akida, or, start, or we imagine there is like fictional like a Muslim a female character who, who got like a ijaza of like a Maliki figure and become like a Sheikh al Islam. Like maybe like, you know, people who watch the animation might get interested in the study of the classical Islamic studies. So this is how a reason why I'm designing. Starting this project, it's called, oh sorry, Muslim uh, uh, you know, manga. Okay. Yes, okay. and actually these are the two you know, Japanese manga, which is my favorite. Do you know Full Metal Alchemist? Yeah. Full Metal Alchemist and Naruto. You know, I grew up with this Full Metal Alchemist and Naruto. And, and I found out that there are so many Jackie Jap you know, Muslim like children, even, even outside of Japan, who are watching the Japanese anime and manga. And also, I also found out there are lots of Muslim parents who are worried about the situation there are so many like, Muslim children watching the Japanese anime and manga. And, and, and why? Because they think that there are so many like, harm stuff in the Japanese manga anime. And 
The, uh, my answer, in my opinion, is the uh, is mostly yes, and also like a no. Because in the end, a manga, you know, it's a graphic novel, it's like a novel. I mean, there's a good novel, and also like a bad novel. It's the same for, you know, the uh, like English novel, or a Spanish novel, or a French novel. And also the movie as well, there's a good movie, and also the bad movie. So in the end, this is a technology. And remember that we are using smartphone, like on iPhone and Android. Like, uh, in my opinion, is also the using this technology is controversial. Uh, because not only about technology itself, but imagine the, the, who, the, which company was building these technologies. And, and who is supporting this company? And, and what are they doing against like, a Muslim community? And this is what I have been witnessing you know, for the last six or five years in the first line. So it means like, uh, if, you have, if you have to boycott the Japanese manga anime, we, we have to also throw out this, all the, uh, the smartphones, or the Android, or the app system that we're using. So in the end, this is just the technologies. Like, you, you, can part, you can purchase like a knife, and you can uh, cook in a food by using a knife, or you can stop someone using a knife. So, I, so uh, what I understand is like a Nia. Uh, you know, everything is based upon the Nia, you know, intention that we have. And another thing is that, remember, I am Muslim converts. Do you know, do you know what the converts mean? Yeah. Because I was born as a non-Muslim, and I become a Muslim like later. I became Muslim like 15 years ago. Like 15 years ago, I became a Muslim in Cairo. And, and I can guarantee that I, I would never consider becoming Muslim if I didn't read the Japanese manga. Actually, this Japanese manga built a foundation to accept like Iman, or accept like the Islamic like, spirituality. And when I talk to this in Turkey, like some uncles go so upset, like, Wallah, what is he saying? This is all haram, and it's impossible to study like Islamic message and morality, just reading Japanese manga. But I remember, I remember does anyone who read Naruto before? Naruto. Okay. Like, do you, do you remember the first episode of the Naruto? So this Naruto is the protagonist. That he was raised as like an orphan. And he was not successful in the school. And like, there is one like, teacher who never abandoned him and who treated him as like his own like a son. But in the, uh, by the way, it's gonna be really a spoiler, so if you're really watching it, you can just go uh, see it. And, and his, the, the name of the teacher is Iruka Sensei, in Iruka Sensei. Sensei is me teacher, or like a master. And it turns out that actually the parents of the Iruka Sensei got killed uh, by the monster which is like dwells inside of an Naruto. So, the, on the surface, this Iruka Sensei, that he was trying to like help Naruto, but he, deep inside of his heart, that he had like a grudge against Naruto. Because he couldn't digest this like a pain, like a memory, when he was a child. But in the last scene of the first step show, this, this Iruka Sensei confessed his like darkest emotion in front of Naruto. And, and he made a repentance, and Naruto and blaze repentance, and that is the moment that Iruka Sensei become the true teacher, and the Naruto become a, uh, become a true like student. So the main message of this first episode of Naruto is repentance, tauba. And I am special, and, and, I'm, and as an academician, I'm studying about you know, Tasawwu culture and also the spirituality of Islam. And if you read like, classical books about Tasawwu or the Islamic spirituality, like Ihsan or the Akhlaq, you know, what is the first chapter of the books about Islamic spirituality? Tawbah. And what is the first chapter, what is the first chapter the narrative was about? Tawbah. This is, I, this is what I call like, semantic like, reconstruction. It means like, yes, there are some like the are in my inappropriate like scene in the Japanese manga or element, but in the end, because this is written by the non-Muslim author, so of course this is an un-Islamic like, element. But the important thing is that how we can build our intellectual muscle to interpret this content. Because for example, like now we now and I'm from Japan, Japan is a non-Muslim country. And if, as long as you live in a non-Muslim country, you're surrounded by like, no, the, the, the millions of like, un-Islamic like, content or element. But in the end, I'm Japanese, so I have to live in Japan. And, I, and my family is in Japan. And so I also I love sushi. And also there's Japanese food. And there's, there's like halal sushi, and also like haram sushi. Like, in the end, like, how you, 
how, uh, it, the, uh, what kind of content you and you take, and so what uh, how you interpret those things. And also, Full Metal Alchemist is the same. Uh, so I think there is one interesting uh, how can I say common narrative structure, narrative structure in Japanese manga is that importance. They always emphasize the importance of mastership and discipleship. This mastership called sensei. For example, I think sensei become uh, like more like a global like a word. Like you know, whenever I go, they, they usually the young generation they understand the word like sensei. So it's a master. So it's full metal alchemist. The protagonist Edward Elric, the, he also have his, his own master. The Izumi like a sensei, and he got a special training and under her like supervision. And and when you read Quran, uh, for example, uh, there is a story about like Hadr and Musa. And when you read this episode, this episode about, uh, also about the mastership. I like a discipleship. So, uh, I, uh, so I want to encourage you know, the Muslim parents that, that I can understand you know their uh, like concerns about you know and uh, sometimes they worry about what kind of content you know children are watching. But you know, I want to say is that for example, if your children are watching Jujutsu Kaisen or Demon Slayer or Attack on Titan, like don't just like this encourage them then uh, uh, to watch it. Don't prohibit them to watch it. You can just watch it all together. And if you find out like, this like, thing about the mastership and disciples, thing, you can you can raise a topic about you know the Khadr and the Musa. Or when you see, when you watch the scene about the Tauba, you can also talk about what is a Tauba in the Islamic context. So in the end, what kind of conversation you have is important. So and right now I'm working with one company uh, called uh, Fictional Frontier. And I am now I'm drawing the concept image. Uh, and one made this futu uh, like a samurai like a story. With that, but this is uh, this is all the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the character I draw. So he his name is Omar, and his protagonist is Sabri. This is how I named them. And this is a scene that you know, this Sabri is a uh, training under the supervision of his like his master, and he's trying and he's like making the zikr and try to like uh, understand like the uh, like mystery of the creation of the Allah. So and. Why I have started uh, this like do a samurai like project? Because for example, do you know Miss Marvel? That is really Disney. Actually, I like this series. I watched uh, I watched it in a Disney Plus. So um, I found out you know, one very interesting thing is that for example, now the Western entertainment like TV series or like or the video games or the or their animes that they always talk about like diversities. But have we ever seen? Uh, like Muslim character play like an important role in the Western like TV series or the anime or or uh, like a manga. It's so few. It's so few. Have you ever seen? The, uh, do you know Jojo's uh, Jojo's adventure? This is a bizarre adventure. This is a Japanese manga, but there's there's one character called like Abdul. Uh, he's like a, he's an Egypt, Egyptian like a Muslim character. But he but he I think as long as I read this manga, he didn't he doesn't have like, a really strong Muslim identity. And also, this Miss Marvel is a good example. Like this Disney company, uh, they advertise this character as like a first uh, like a Muslim like character uh, in the Marvel like cinematic universe. And I watched the old episode. It's not bad, and I really enjoy watching it. But she also didn't have like strong Muslim like identity. And what they depict is like just the like, life of like Pakistani American. What I, what I want to say is that being Pakistani American and being Muslim is like a different topic. Is is in different dimensions, but and she also have like you know, some you know practicing the Muslim like, friends, but you know the Islamic element was so few, but they're trying to like use this character as like a representation of the Muslims, and and also I came from Turkey, and in Turkey there was another uh, like difficulties that in the Turkish TV series usually the practicing Muslim. Both like male character as female characters, they were depicted in a really bad way. Either they are terrorists, as as uh, 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 a bit well known, or either when the, when the female characters they wearing hijab, uh, you know, is religious. Uh, usually, they, usually she was stuck in the paternalistic like family, or this is, she always looked like really sad. And also the, uh, the, the, those, those annoying uncles, they, they would never understand her values. That, and imagine what kind of um, a negative the influence will be on the, you know, the Muslim uh, like a children when they're watching 
uh, the, you know, sad face with the practicing Muslim characters. So this is what I think. So this is another reason I came to the conclusion that we need to create our own story. You know, we need to create our own fiction. And another one is, do you know, uh, uh, do you know generative AI? So you, if you, when you write a prompt, this AI will bring the, the uh, uh, like a visual, like an image. And these picture were generated by, you know, I, I, prompt, I, uh, I wrote a prompt that imagine like a Japanese Muslim, like a Japanese Muslim. And this is the, uh, the AI the, uh, called Mid Journey. Mid Journey, like a draw, a picture of a Japanese like a Muslim. Like, and do you understand? I think AI is racist. Because they understand this Japanese-ness as like a physical futures. I mean, as long as they have like slight eye, <laughs> like they understand this like Japanese-ness. But I have many like Japanese Muslim friends in Japan, but we have, we have, uh, we have like Pakistani Japanese Muslim, the Indonesian Japanese Muslim, the Egyptian Japanese Muslim, Palestinian Japanese Muslim, and also the Japanese Muslim like me, Japanese commerce. Actually, we have the diversity in the, Jap in the Japanese Muslim community. But do you think this, but what this picture shows, this, this AI will never understand the reality of the Japanese Muslim communities. And this is also a danger of we are depending on these technologies. Some, so many people think that this the new technology is called artificial intelligence will give, uh, uh, will bring us to the like a new horizon of the new creativity. But I think this is like, for me, what I feel is those so med medieval like a prejudice, like a thing that if you understand Japanese, Japanese, the Japanese who has like East Asian like looking and, and wear like Arab like a clothes. Uh, so, that's why <clears throat> Okay. And, but, and when I started like drawing this manga characters, uh, I also got the, uh, some criticism that you know drawing the uh, the human like picture like is haram. And to be honest, I also had the same idea under this. So the, before I became Muslim, I really like drawing pictures. But when I became Muslim 15 years ago, I stopped drawing pictures for 10 years. I started drawing for 10 years. But uh, but after I became Muslim, I started to study uh, Islamic jurisprudence from one master that he has the ijazah from the Hanafi fiqh. Do you, do you know fiqh? You know Islamic jurisprudence. And the Hanafi mazhab, and also the Hanbali like a mazhab. And one time I was, uh, I was drinking the tea with him. You know, we were having you know, uh, the chit chat. And my teacher told me, my teacher said to me that you need to write a Muslim manga. And I was so shocked because he is the teacher of the Hanafi figure and the Hanbali figure. And as long as I read the Hanafi, uh, Hanafi like fatwas or some jurisprudence, drawing picture or image the haram. And I and I asked my sensei that why uh, I have to draw many Muslim like a manga because it's so haram. And he told me that there are four mas four mashab in, in 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 Islam and in the Maliki mashab, in drawing picture is still it's not the best way to, best way of doing it, but still is permissible. In the, in the area of Makruf, as long as it remains as like 2D. And if we study about his history of Islam, actually there are so many like the visual like art exists. For example, this one is the called miniature. Uh, this is like a t uh, uh, the 2D like visual art which is developed in the Ottoman Empire. And do you know right side of this thing? Do you know uh, shadow puppet? Uh, this is the Indonesian shadow puppet. And uh, this legend in Indonesia is called Wali Songo. Wali Songo, it means nine Wali. And there's a legend in Indonesia that the nine Aulia, the nine Sufi saints, you know, came to Indonesia and they spread you know, the word of Islam. And there's one Wali called Sunan Kalijaga, Sunan Kalijaga, and he used the shadow puppet to teach the uh, Sirat al Nabawiya in the life of the Prophet Muhammad. So it means that if we study the history of Islam, the what is important is the intention. The intention. In the end, this is all about technologies and what kind of message you are trying to deliver. Yeah. So, this is the first character I have designed. His name, is, uh, his name is Sabri. Said, and have you ever seen this picture? This picture. This is called the Tree of Futuba. Tree of Futuba. Futubet Archer in Turkish. Uh, there is uh, a really famous like warrior organization that exists in Anatolia, and 
And futuwa in Arabic it means like youngness. In, uh, 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 in English we can translate as like chivalry, the Islamic like chivalry. So this is the emblem of the organization of the Islamic chivalry. And in Japan, we also have a similar tradition of the chivalry, it's called samurai. Samurai. So I have a designer, a Japanese boy, and I made him wear a helmet, but I took this design and redesigned it as a like Futuwa samurai helmet. Futuwa samurai helmet. So this is how this is how I'm trying to do like a character designing. Like I I'm not just like designing like a superficial, like a shadow, like a Muslim character. You know, I draw the inspiration from the traditional like, Islamic culture and reinterpret in the Japanese like a context. And also, uh, her name is Aisha, and this series is called Hijabi Ninja series. The Hijabi Ninja. And, and at first I was just drawing a male character, uh, but this is the reason why I started drawing a you know, female character as well, uh, because the, uh, uh, my daughter was born last year, and she's like a born Muslim. So I'm a, I'm a Muslim convert, and my, my wife is also a convert, uh, but my, my daughter is like a born Muslim. And, and when I see you know, my uh, when I see my baby, you know, I started thinking what kind of world you know, I want her to like live, and I and also like what kind of like Islamic I don't know. Like, I also think how I can teach like Islam to my own kid, and I started exploring you know, what kind of like you know educational content exists in the world, and also I also watched some, uh, and and that is really actually I watched this like Miss Marvel. And I was thinking that if I if I want my daughter to watch like Miss Marvel, and to be honest, like it was not really convincing because like it, it, this this character doesn't have a really strong Muslim character. So that's why I thought that you know when she grow up, you know I want her to see like a, like a thousands of you know, Muslim fictional characters like this in this world. So that's why I started to, to draw the like, female like Muslim characters, and and. Do you know Ninja? You know Ninja, like you see, so it's Naruto is also like a manga by Ninja. So when I see this costume, I saw this is completely, I don't know, it covers the body lines. And also this Mahajab. So I thought that I could use this like a costume to design the female Muslim characters. So I have designed this way. And another, another one is that her name is Fatima and this is a traditional like female like samurai warrior existing in Japan. So, so I got inspiration from this Japanese like in the uh, uh, samurai culture, and I redesigned it in this way. And she, and I also I made him wear uh, like hijab, but also that she's wearing traditional Japanese clothes. So in this way, you know, I create I think at least like 20 or 30 uh, like Muslim characters for now. And if you, if you want to see, you know, I also I bring some character book over there. Uh, but but when I des design this Muslim character, I think they're really cool. I think I'm really successful. At least I don't know. Maybe I'm very really arrogant, but I think this is more successful than Ms. Marvel. Like because and also you know the, all these characters they're wearing the traditional Japanese clothes and also wearing this hijab. But I see. Uh, somehow really interesting the harmony within it. They, even though they're wearing hijab, it doesn't look really strange. And, 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 and I think there are some the good impact on Japanese audiences, because still, I think in, in, in Japan, there are lots of prejudice against the Muslim. They think that be, when people become Muslim, they will become like outside of Japanese societies. Or like they become like Arabized, or, or they, become, they, they become like Pakistanized, or in this sense. But, when you see these characters, the, the I can visually show that there is a way that you know, the Japanese Muslim can build their own like a culture to pursue the spirituality of Islam. And when it comes to character design, actually there is uh, there's some philosophy when I'm designing it. For example, her name is Marwa, and you know she's wearing this like a big scarf, uh, like a veil, and so it's only still in my head. But they, all these you know, Muslims are either born Muslim or the Muslim or Japanese Muslim converts living in one village. It's called village of Tuwa, and only the people who finish uh, the uh, uh, the studying of Islamic jur jurisprudence were entitled to wear 
This is like a big bell. So this is the symbol of the fakiha. You know, the, uh, the those who, who have made an like, ijtiha. And, <coughs> and also, oh, can you see this like, Arabic letters here? Like, can anybody read Arabic or Persian? Okay. So this, this is called Bajian, and this Bajian is a Persian. I think it's also said in Urdu, I think. That it means like sisters. And this sister, and this is actually the name of the organization of the female warriors existed in the Anatolia. So this is the, the organization of Muslim like female like warriors. And it was so famous before the modernization that, that everybody knows this organization like the Bajian. But look at about the 21st century, like how many like, Muslims know the existence of Bajian? I think almost like less than 10%, maybe less than 5%. So when I'm gonna design this Muslim character, uh, my intention is that I'm not just like showing like a cool looking like Muslim character, but also there are so many Muslim that, who are into the Japanese manga, uh, but they are not interested in the study Arabic or like Islamic sciences or Fiku Akira. And maybe when they see these Muslim characters, when they see the Arabic letter written in the next character, maybe they, they might get interested in study Arabic or study Islamic sciences, study Akira. So this is how we trying to encourage you know, the people. See, and also, even when I'm designing this male character, uh, <coughs> the, so comparing to the female Muslim character, this male Muslim character is, is not looking, I don't know, the, visually like a Muslim, uh, but there is also another philosophy in it. So there's a huge difference between, this is a traditional uh, samurai picture, it's in Edo period, and this is the Muslim samurai character I have designed. Can you guess about the difference between the two? What's the difference? They look the same, but there's a big difference between the two. He's wearing pants. Why? To cover aura. Yeah. And why are you making him wear pants? Because in the Abbasid period, so Abbasid period is the where you know, this Futuwa organization was built. And at the time, the symbol of the Futuwa organization was pants. They were wearing the special pants. And you know, Caliph at the time, they liked this the culture, so they inherit, they he, so the Caliph, the Khalifa, started to wear the Futuwa pants. And this is how it become this Futuwa, Futuwa culture, become popular culture among the Muslim community. So see, so this, this is how you know, we can introduce the history of Islam by using uh, this like a manga style, like a characters. For example, I'm working with the university, and the, you are working with the university, and I'm, also, I'm, I'm writing lots of like, academic manuscripts, and publishing books, and writing articles, and giving academic lectures. But I'm sure that everybody who works in university will, will understand that nobody reads books anymore. And nobody read my article, even though I made so much. And when I give an academic lecture, nobody will come. <laughs> but, uh, but, but when I talk with the students, like everybody was watching like Japanese anime. Everybody was reading the Japanese manga. So you mean there is one hadith called "Tuhadis Nas Arakad Rukurihim," or "Tuhadis Nas Arakad Rukurihim," or "Tuhadis Tuhadis Nas Bima Yarikun." So "Tuhadis Nas," what does it mean? "Tuhadis Nas." Talk to the people that Allah qadri ukur him in according to the level of the audiences. It means according to the interest of the audiences. You know, this is the hadith of the Prophet. It means like you can write books about the Ghazali, you can like give a lecture about Ibn Sina, or you can write an academic articles about you know the Ottoman Empire, but these are only for the elites or the people who are already interested in Islam in academic way. But but there are some people who might get interested in Islam, like through the manga or anime. But unfortunately, the, the we Muslim community, the, we are not showing enough initiative in, in the area of the entertainment. Anyway. For example, this is another like, concept image I have designed. Now, do you know Badu Amari? Badu Amari. So my character, Aisha, is studying the Badu Amari. Badu Amari is a really famous the Matridi Akida poem. Is a Matridi Akida te 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 textbook. So she's living in the Futuwa village and she becomes a student in the madrasa. And this is how she's now trying to memorize 
they are my adma, adma three the akida. Like they yakul abdu fi badr amali li tawhidi bin nazb kalali. Na ilahu rahalu maulana qadiman wa mausuh bi awsuh kamalin. Huwa hayyir mubaddil kul abnin. Huwa rahakul muqaddil zu ajalali. So this is how, you know, the Muslim, in the home, the home relation, we're trying to study the what the meaning of Allah. And who is Allah, who is the Prophet, and what is the meaning of dunya, what is the meaning of the akhirah. And, and another, this summary, do you know Isa Goji, is a, called Isa Goge, uh, is a very famous like a Greek uh, textbook about the mantuk, you know, the logic. So he's trying to study like a mantuk in her own madrasa. And for example, have you ever seen any, like, uh, any the Western like, anime or TV series or the Japanese anime the way the Muslim characters are studying, are studying in the madrasa, also the Mahapriji text, the Hanafi text, I've seen zero. So I can guarantee you, I think this picture is the very first picture the Japanese Muslim character is studying in the madrasa. This is the very first in the history of, the, uh, of the humanity that someone, like a Japanese Muslim convert, had designed the Muslim like a character. So, okay. yeah. Yes. So, but in the end, <coughs> so uh, uh, we are planning to uh, like publish uh, first like a novel and a manga, and in the, and also it's possible we want to make like an anime by using this Muslim character. Uh, but unfortunately, some of you may know, but this kind of project like costs a lot, and to be honest, I need your help, and. These, these are like posters or the keychains or the character work, you know, I have published. So I think I'm really happy that you can just really like it help me like financially. It's just one is like 10 pounds. It's like a 10 pounds. Like just, just give up like one sandwiches like tomorrow and just buy in my keychain poster. It would really, really help me a lot. And, and, what, and it, it really challenging for me that working in a university and design is a character and writing a novel and also uh, preparing a script for the anime. But uh, I have one vision because it's, it's also for my daughter, but not only for my daughter, but it's more Muslim children because li living as a Muslim is tough. And it's really tough. But we look at the recent, uh, recent incident in Palestine. We, every, the, every morning when we wake up, we have to witness the you know, thousands of children and babies and, and mothers and fathers that got killed in Palestine. And, and not, not just doing Twitter, Twitter or Instagram, when we, when we go to universities. You know, for example, I grew up in a public school. At the time, at the time I was not Muslim, but you know, pub, life of public school is like a hell. And the teacher was never interested in us. And, and I saw, I, and, I, and I know some Muslim children living in Japan. There was, uh, many of them starting in the public schools. You know, they're also challenging a lot of you know, difficulties. You know, there, there's many people who don't understand about Islam. They would never show respect. And also not only in the public school, but also in the universities and also the companies. There are so many like sanctions. And, and what is more disappointing is that some of the teachers that we respect is ended up in a compromising this like West, the injustice in the wrestling here in Germany. And imagine what in Muslim children feel, feel like loneliness in the school. And they have to go back, uh, they have to go back to their home with this carrying this like loneliness and carrying this scar and pain. And I want my most hijabi ninjas always uh, stand with them when they go back to the houses. You know, why, why I designed this keychain? Because I want, I, I want the Muslim children who are facing this courage to carry this keychain you know, everywhere they go. And then when they feel so lonely, you know, I want them to look at this keychain and remember that they are not alone. And not, not only hijabi and <coughs> Because, uh, you know, the other teachers, they, all talk, they, they also talk about the importance of the creating the story. But this creating, this creating a story, but not just like giving the lessons and not about like teaching, but you know, the, the engaging and you know, this cr uh, creating the fictional story is a, is a process of the digesting uh, you know, our experiences. This is how they build out upon. For example, like, when you go back, if you have a, like, a notebook, you know, uh, I, I want everyone to write down like, what, uh, what kind of like, a Muslim hero you want to design 
or what kind of the Muslim warrior you want to design. And when you are engaged in this process, uh, you, ended up, uh, you, you inevitably study about, for example, like Quran or Hadith uh, to, uh, to know that what is the ideal of the Muslim life. Or, or if you want to design, for example, the, uh, the, uh, the Muslim fictional characters who had a background with the Pakistani cultures, or Egyptian cultures, or Indian cultures, you will study the history of Indonesia. You will study history of Egypt. You will study history of Syria. So this is, a, this is what I did when I designed this samurai hijabi, like a hijabi like a character. You know, I studied the history of Japan again. You know, I studied history of Islam again. You know, I studied history of Futuwa. I studied history of Bajian. I studied history of Tosowo. Like this, the, we need this kind of process. Because when I saw there's so many articles where they're criticizing with a Ms. Marvel or criticizing misrepresentation of the Muslim in Muslim media. But criticizing in, 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 the, in the end, this is, we are just consuming the content. They, they, here, and, and I saw the many people who are boycotting Disney or the next Netflix, but yes, boycotting is important. But remember, in how, when, when I become Muslim, I said karimatai. It means la ilaha and illa Allah. You know, la ilaha and illa Allah. It means, what is the meaning of la ilaha? There is no God except Allah. It means negation. And boycott is like a negation. Like you, 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 pro, you promise that you will never enslave yourself to this kind of injustice. But this is not enough to become Muslim. The, when people become Muslim, they will say illa Allah, you know, affirmation. It means that you can boycott but what is more important is that what you really produce for the humanities. So I'm also boycotting the Disney, but also in the same time, I'm producing my own, uh, my own story, the Muslim story. So this is how I'm trying, uh, trying to do. And, and I hope, uh, and, I, and, and I want you to do what, if this project is successful. Uh, and what is more important is that if you can, if you can support it financially, it will be more helpful. So thank you very much. This is what I want to talk. Uh, so do you have any question? Sorry, can you just um, do the sword thing again, please? Sword? Okay. <laughs> Wait, Actually, if you want, we can do it together. Don't kill me. <laughs> you wanted the basic yeah. training? Okay. So, oh, I'm gonna show you. Right hand, top, left hand, down. It's front, back, yes. This is how you throw. And, and this is the first training that you will learn when you uh, enter uh, the education of samurai. The strike, strike, low, low, slash, slash. This, yes. yes. Are you really good? How much now? Again, strike. Right. Right. Yes, you become samurai. So, no, it's really fun. So, I really want to organize a workshop about this Japanese swordsmanship. And do you know? Uh, it's really po famous that horse riding and archery and swimming as like a prophetic like sport. But this swordsmanship was also the Islamic culture. Because I mean, now I'm studying uh, famous uh, classic books about Furusi and your horsemanship, Islamic culture. And in this textbook, they, they teach horse riding, archery, and spear, and a sword. So this sword was also Islamic culture, but somehow, uh, you know, this tradition like got lost and we are not practicing anymore. And, and, we, and we are surrounded by because of Islamic, you know, the Islam, like a lecture about Islam or symposium about Islam or 
uh, like in the khutbah, but this is all about talking. But Islam is not about like words. The Islam is also like a practice. And this like sport is actually the important like uh, tradition, which now is bit extinct. Yeah, so I want to do this, you know. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this is Tanjiro's sword. You know, <laughs> So I'm studying this one sword, but also I, I know like double edge, like swordmanship. Yeah, yeah. Three swords are difficult. <laughs> it's, not, it's a fiction. Yeah. No? Okay. How would you expect people to hear? I choose. I cannot hear well. On my manga, uh, the inshallah like next year. So I'm writing the I write the script right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so next week you shall be here. Yeah, so. huh? Oh, I'm studying archery, yes, in Turkey. Yeah. Mm. I'm studying archery, I'm studying swordmanship, and also I study tea ceremony, it's a Japanese culture, and I've been doing manga, and I'm wearing Japanese kimono. Yeah, so I'm the manifestation of Japanese culture. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a living museum of Japanese culture. <laughs> Do you have cursed energy? Hmm? Do you have cursed energy? Cursed energy? Not yet. Yeah, but in general, yeah. <laughs> I, will, I will add more than positive energy I want to use. Yeah. Any question? No, okay. What's your favorite anime? Oh. Hmm? Favorite manga? Favorite anime? Oh. Favorite anime is the different format of Alchemist and Naruto. And do you know Hunter Hunter? Yeah. Oh, Hunter Hunter is also my favorite. It's, it's all about training, uh, you know, spiritual training. And also, I love Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer and Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Um, actually, I like, I like hundreds of you know, the Japanese anime. So. My, most, my most favorite is Full Metal Alchemist. So it was a really beautiful story. Like, because the uh, main theme of Full Metal Alchemist is also like a Tauba. And also, embrace, uh, also how to embrace like a destiny uh, of the human being. So, yeah. and so inshallah, if I can you know, create like a manga like Full Metal Alchemist or Naruto, it would be good. Yeah. Yes? You read or watch Monster? Hmm? Monster, yeah. Monster, of course. Yeah. It was really like a mature like an anime, but it's, the story was really profound. Yeah. 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 Actually, in Turkey, I'm also organizing the uh, like small like talk event that how we can draw like Islamic lesson, not Islamic, but Islamic lesson by reading like Japanese manga. But this is how I'm trying to encourage like Muslim children uh, to like come come back on Islamic values. Yes. Antagonist? Oh, uh, you can see the antagonist in my character book. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I created some of the two or three yeah, antagonists in my series. Yeah, of course we need antagonists to create a story because it only the protagonist that the story to become really dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. Much as like you like anime, yeah. yeah, you know those of stuff. Yeah. Your question? Okay, see no question, so we can finish. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと